This is a presentation on Keto's ring as applicable to magnetic particle testing. Here is a Keto's ring and the purpose of the Keto's ring is to compare the depth of penetration between AC versus DC and also to compare the depth of penetration among different methods for example dry versus wet. Here is a diagram of the Keto's ring. It has 12 holes. The diameter of each of the holes is 0.070 inches and the depth of the first hole is 0.07 and then the depth increases every 0.07 for each hole. The process to check the depth of penetration is shown here in this figure and uh, we pass a current through it whether it's the AC or DC and uh, then we uh, apply the particles on the surface whether it's uh, dry particles or wet particles and as you can see in this experiment we can see the first three holes and and then after that we see none of the holes so for this particular test we can say the depth of penetration is 0 0.070 times 3 inches uh, if it was AC the depth of penetration will be very low like the skin depth and we may barely see the first hole with DC we probably will see the third fourth and depending on the current the depth of penetration can be increased and then there is a difference between the wet particles and the dry particles in general the depth of penetration with the dry particles is more than the depth of penetration with the wet particles and now you will see a demonstration of the Keto's ring test. This machine here is a 1000 amp capable uh, portable mag machine. It's configured to put out half wave, half wave DC, and we'll be able to do both circular and longitudinal fields. Um, first thing I'll show is a test to verify that we're getting the uh, getting penetration in the mag, uh, magnetic field intensity. This is called the Ketose ring. We're going to apply particles. And here we're seeing, stop now, we're seeing uh, picking up this first three holes on the uh, magnetic magnetization. The wire is going through the Ketose ring, so we're generating a circular magnetic field.